Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Talk for hours and never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know
High five. <laughs> <laughs> I <trust this> <laughs> Thank you.
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Almost. Who uh, gives this bride? Her mother and I do. <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you. Please be seated. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Mason Jones. Um, well, we are not in a mountain lodge in Breckenridge, but I think it can, we can all say it is safe to say it was well worth the wait because we're all here in beautiful Hawaii. <laughs> so today we take ourselves out of our usual routines of our daily lives to witness a unique moment in the lives of Jamie and Brandon. Today, they join their lives in union of marriage. Now, while Jamie and Brandon got married last year on paper during the pandemic, a wedding is about so much more than a piece of paper. It's about sharing the celebration with their closest friends and family. So to all of our guests here today, they're happy to share this moment with you and to those online as well. They have known most of you for many years. You've watched them grow up, you went to school with them, you worked with them, or you blasted Taylor Swift with them at nauseum to others. <laughs> but you are the ones who have supported them and known them so well. It's only fitting you are all here to share this once-in-a-lifetime moment with them today. <laughs> now, before we get started, I do have to share a story of how I first met uh, Jamie and Brandon. I've uh, known Jamie for almost a decade now. We both went to the University of Kansas and really got to know one another when we started working for CP Chem in Houston. When we were both working there full-time, she told me she had, um, was seeing a guy from college and had reconnected. She asked if I could invite him on our annual work float trip where um, you get on inner tubes and float down the river. <laughs> well, as we arrived to the hotel, Jamie's car was running late, so she asked if I could introduce myself to Brandon and make him feel welcome. She told me he was in the lobby wearing a floral shirt in preparation for Datter Day, <laughs> AKA uh, Saturday, but with floral shirts. I uh, see you all got the memo. <laughs> Y'all look great. Um, and that I should go up and introduce myself. So I see a guy wearing a floral shirt in the lobby and walk up to him and start introducing myself and ask him if he's excited for the weekend, how have things been going since college, and so on. Um, after a few minutes, I realized there was two people in the lobby wearing floral shirts, and the man that was standing in front of me was not Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> so I apologized to the man and then started talking to Brandon. Uh, immediately, he was a ray of sunshine, and we hit it off instantly. It was the first of many trips and getaways with Brandon, um, even being stationed elsewhere for the Navy. And eight years later, here we all are today. And so it is that Brandon and Jamie present themselves to be married today, surrounded by the ones they love most. As Jamie and Brandon prepared for the ceremony, um, they reflected on what they love about each other. So that was the easiest part of the planning. So Brandon, Jamie sees you in a funny, kind, and sweet man. She loves that you're so tall and handsome as hell. She loves that you think you're funny and always find a way to compliment her. And although she doesn't always love your dad jokes, I always will. <laughs> she loves that you want to be close to her no matter how far of a physical distance there was between the two of you. And most importantly, you are so close that even when she's down, you've never made her feel like she wants to be anything but closer to her. Jamie, um, Brandon loves your smarts, your smile, and your beauty. 
He appreciates that you're low maintenance. <laughs> he likes to. Um, he likes that you can be silly and dance around like no one's watching. He loves your emails, texts, FaceTimes, no matter how far far apart you all have been in the past. He loves your kisses, and he really just loves you. So to the couple, you both look to a shared future that includes a raising and happy, healthy family. That also includes a richly lived lived life together, going out to restaurants, hanging out with friends, family, hiking every trail, traveling the world, standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, or in a dinosaur Hawaiian shirt, <laughs> or just rela- relaxing at home and doing puzzles and board games. The years will come and go, and you won't take each other for granted. You'll laugh a lot. You'll be the best parents you all can be. You'll grow older and wiser together. You'll be the prince, and she'll be the princess. It's a love story, so let's get to the part where we can just say yes. <laughs> we come now to the words Brandon and Jamie want to hear most today, the words that will take him across the threshold from being engaged to married. A marriage is a voluntary, full, and lifelong commitment. It's made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others, and it's entered into with the desire and hope that it will last for life. Before you declare your vows to one another, I do want to confirm that it's in your, indeed your intention to be married today. So, Brandon, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Jamie in marriage? If so, say I do. I do. Jamie, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Brandon in marriage? If so, say I do. I absolutely do. <laughs> and to all of you here today, um, can I get a big old Brandon? I will take that as we do. Thank you. (laughs) Brandon and Jamie, having heard that your intention is to be married to each other, I now ask you to declare your marriage vows. Um, Brandon and Jamie have chosen to write their own vows, so Brandon, I will let you go first. Jamie, for the past 13 years, it's been an absolute joy to have you in my life. From KU to Texas, Florida, Japan, Italy, Hawaii now, and everywhere in between, I know that you're the person who completes me. Your loving spirit, willingness to sacrifice, and genuine passion for life are a few of the endless things that I love about you. I can't wait to start this next journey in life. I have three vows that I promise to you. I vow to always try and make each day better than the last. I promise to be an optimist with you and find the silver lining in everything. As our relationship and marriage continues to grow, I want to look at each coming day as a chance to improve and make the most of every opportunity we have. I vow to be your companion. Whether you need a shoulder to cry on, a hand to, uh, a hand to hold, or a hug for comfort, I promise I will be there when you need support and to be there to celebrate all your successes. I am your safety net and your biggest supporter. I vow to always keep you in my heart. No matter the physical distance that may separate us, I will always carry your love and passion in my soul. You make me a complete person, and you'll always be a part of me. Jamie, you're the love of my life. I can't wait to spend every day with you now as your husband. Brandon, today is the day we've patiently been waiting for. My heart is singing and my soul is bursting. For today, I can finally announce to the world, to the earth, wind, sky, and all our friends and family that I love you. I get to say I love you, not like the thousands of times we do in the early morning hours, at night, every time on the phone, every day, but instead I get to proclaim my love to you and my commitment to you in front of everyone. I love you in every way, for your patience, sincerity, service to our country, sometimes good dad jokes, and now you're my adventure companion through everything. You speak the language of love that only we know how, and and your love encompasses and entangles me deeper and deeper into a beautiful web of adoration and bliss. Someone once told me that there are only three important things in this world, life, love, and legacy. I vow to spend life with you and live it fully. 
I vow to love you with all my heart, soul, and being, and I vow to build a legacy with you through all of life's adventures. I love you longer than forever. Thank you. Uh, may we have the rings, please? Your wedding rings are an outward and visible sign of the inward and invisible bond which already unites your heart and love. May these rings always remind you of the vows you have taken. Brandon, I'll start with you. Uh, Brandon, please place the ring on your bride's finger as you repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. My love is forever. My love is forever. Jamie. Jamie, place this ring on your groom's finger as you repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. My love is forever. My love is forever. May the wedding rings you exchange today remind you that you are surrounded by enduring love. Everybody has advice for newlyweds, and Brandon and Jamie, I offer these good wishes to you on your special day. May your life together be blessed with prosperity and good health. May you always share open and honest communication with each other. May you respect each other's individual talents and gifts and give full support to each other in professional and personal pursuits, just as you have done up until now. No matter where life moves you to next, you two have proven that you can stand the test of time, no matter how far apart you may be temporarily. May you cherish the home and family you will create together and all the additional Hawaiian shirts that follow. <laughs> May you love all the years to come and be filled with moments to celebrate and renew your love. May your love be a lifelong source of excitement, con commitment, affection, respect, and devotion for one another. Okay, here's the part. And now, by the power invested in me by the beautiful state of Hawaii and the Universal Life Church, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Brandon, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am so honored to be the first one to say this. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Ware. to the gazebo now. Let's go to the gazebo. <laughs> In the shade of the gazebo. Oh.
Oh, we weren't talking. Or, hello? Check, check. Audio, audio. Good boy. One, three, three, two, one. This is just too much. Right. Yeah. You got the... I got him. Stay. Day, buddy. We'll, we'll be okay without it. I'm getting this one. Yeah. I'm getting this one. Yeah, this, this is good. Oh. Okay. watching from a